Om Shanti. Today is Tuesday, the 30th of April 2024. On this Tuesday morning, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bab Dada, Bab Dada Madhuban. Essence Sweet children, check your charts to see how long you have remembered the father throughout the whole day. Check whether you made any mistakes because each of you is a businessman. Let's hear the essence once again on this Tuesday morning. Baba says, sweet children, check your charts to see for how long you remembered the father throughout the whole day. Check whether you made any mistakes because each of you is a businessman. So Baba equates us with a businessman. Today's question, which one effort should you continue to make while being introverted so that you experience limitless happiness. In answer, Baba says, remove your intellect's yoga from whatever you have done for birth after birth and which continues to come in front of you. Continue to make effort to remember the father in order to become Sato Pradhan. Remove your intellects from all directions. Become introverted and remember the father. Give evidence of the service you do and you will have limitless happiness. So, Baba says, remove your intellect's yoke from whatever you have done for birth after birth, which continues to come in front of you. Continue to make effort to remember the father in order to become Sato Pradhan. The most important thing Baba says is, remove your intellects from all directions, become introverted and remember the father. Give evidence of the service you do and you will have limitless happiness. Om Shanti. The father sits here and explains to you children. What does he explain? Baba says, you children know that the spiritual father sits here and explains to you spiritual children. The spiritual father is the unlimited father. The spiritual children are also unlimited children. The father has to grant salvation to all children. Through whom? He has to grant salvation to the world through you children. The children of the whole world do not come and study here. This is called a world spiritual university. Everyone receives liberation, whether you call it liberation or liberation in life. Everyone has to go into liberation and then go into liberation in life. So, it would be said that everyone goes into liberation in life via the land of liberation. So, what is Baba clarifying today? Everyone has to go into liberation and liberation in life and then go into liberation in life. So, it would be said that everyone goes into liberation in life via the land of liberation. They all have to come down one after another to play their parts. Until then, they have to stay in the land of liberation. You children now know about the creator and the creation. This whole of creation is eternal. Only the one father is the creator. All souls are children of the unlimited father. When you children know this, you come and study this yoga. This yoga is for Bharat alone. Baba says the father comes in Bharat. He teaches the people of Bharat the pilgrimage of remembrance. He makes them pure and also gives them this knowledge of how this world cycle turns. So, let's hear the last few sentences again. Baba says, You children now know about the creator and creation. This whole of creation is eternal. Only the one father is the creator. All souls are children of the unlimited father. When you children know about this, you come and study this yoga. This yoga is for Bharat alone. The father comes in Bharat. He teaches the people of Bharat the pilgrimage of remembrance. He makes them pure and also gives them this knowledge of how this world cycle turns. You children know this too. There is the rosary of Rudra which is remembered and worshipped. It is remembered that there is also the rosary of devotees. There is the rosary of the highest on high devotees. After the rosary of devotees, there has to be the rosary of this knowledge. Then it is called the rosary of Rudra because Vishnu is the highest on high in the human world. But he is shown in the subtle region. This one is Prajapita Brahma and there is his rosary too. Eventually, this rosary will be created because only then will it become the rosary of Rudra 
and the rosary of victory of vishnu so what are the rosaries that baba is talking about baba says there is the rosary of rudra which is remembered and worshiped it is remembered that there is also the rosary of devotees there is the rosary of the highest on high devotees after the rosary of devotees there has to be the rosary of this knowledge there is devotion and this knowledge there is the rosary of devotees and also the rosary of rudra then it is called the rosary of rudra because vishnu is the highest on high in the human world but he is shown in the subtle region this one is prajapita brahma and there is his rosary too eventually this rosary will be created because only then will it become the rosary of rudra and the rosary of victory of vishnu so shiv baba is the highest on high and then there is the highest on high kingdom of vishnu they have made so many beautiful pictures on the path of devotion but they don't have any knowledge you have to introduce the pictures that you make so that people are able to understand otherwise they mix up shiva and shankar so baba says people mix up shiva and shankar baba has explained that everything in the subtle region is a question of visions there are no flesh and bones there they just have visions there is also the perfect brahma there but he is completely avyakt the corporeal brahma has now has now to become subtle that is avyakt the corporeal brahma now has to become avyakt the corporeal one becomes the subtle one and then he is called an angel om shanti today is tuesday the 30th of april 2024 on this tuesday morning let us listen to the sakar murli from our beloved bab dada bab dada madhuban essence sweet children check your charts to see how long you have remembered the father throughout the whole day check whether you made any mistakes because each of you is a businessman let's hear the essence once again on this tuesday morning baba says sweet children check your charts to see for how long you remembered the father throughout the whole day check whether you made any mistakes because each of you is a businessman so baba equates us with a businessman today's question which one effort should you continue to make while being introverted so that you experience limitless happiness in answer baba says remove your intellect's yoke from whatever you have done for birth after birth and which continues to come in front of you continue to make effort to remember the father in order to become sato pradhan remove your intellects from all directions become introverted and remember the father give evidence of the service you do and you will have limitless happiness so baba says remove your intellects yoke from whatever you have done for birth after birth which continues to come in front of you continue to make effort to remember the father in order to become sato pradhan the most important thing baba says is remove your intellects from all directions become introverted and remember the father give evidence of the service you do and you will have limitless happiness om shanti the father sits here and explains to you children what does he explain baba says you children know that the spiritual father sits here and explains to you spiritual children the spiritual father is the unlimited father the spiritual children are also unlimited children the father has to grant salvation to all children through whom he has to grant salvation to the world through you children the children of the whole world do not come and study here this is called a world spiritual university everyone receives liberation whether you call it liberation or liberation in life everyone has to go into liberation and then go into liberation in life so it would be said that everyone goes into liberation in life via the land of liberation so what is baba clarifying today everyone has to go into liberation and liberation in life and then go into liberation in life so it would be said that everyone goes into liberation in life via the land of liberation they all have to come down one after another to play their parts until then they have to stay in the land of liberation 
you children now know about the creator and the creation this whole of creation is eternal only the one father is the creator all souls are children of the unlimited father when you children know this you come and study this yoga this yoga is for bharat alone baba says the father comes in bharat he teaches the people of bharat the pilgrimage of remembrance he makes them pure and also gives them this knowledge of how this world cycle turns so let's hear the last few sentences again baba says you children now know about the creator and creation this whole of creation is eternal only the one father is the creator all souls are children of the unlimited father when you children know about this you come and study this yoga this yoga is for bharat alone the father comes in bharat he teaches the people of bharat the pilgrimage of remembrance he makes them pure and also gives them this knowledge of how this world cycle turns you children know this too there is the rosary of rudra which is remembered and worshiped it is remembered that there is also the rosary of devotees there is the rosary of the highest on high devotees after the rosary of devotees there has to be the rosary of this knowledge then it is called the rosary of rudra because vishnu is the highest on high in the human world but he is shown in the subtle region this one is prajapita brahma and there is his rosary too eventually this rosary will be created because only then will it become the rosary of rudra and the rosary of victory of vishnu so what are the rosaries that baba is talking about baba says there is the rosary of rudra which is remembered and worshiped it is remembered that there is also the rosary of devotees there is the rosary of the highest on high devotees after the rosary of devotees there has to be the rosary of this knowledge there is devotion and this knowledge there is the rosary of devotees and also the rosary of rudra then it is called the rosary of rudra because vishnu is the highest on high in the human world but he is shown in the subtle region this one is prajapita brahma and there is his rosary too eventually this rosary will be created because only then will it become the rosary of rudra and the rosary of victory of vishnu so shiv baba is the highest on high and then there is the highest on high kingdom of vishnu they have made so many beautiful pictures on the path of devotion but they don't have any knowledge you have to introduce the pictures that you make so that people are able to understand otherwise they mix up shiva and shankar so baba says people mix up shiva and shankar baba has explained that everything in the subtle region is a question of visions there are no flesh and bones there they just have visions there is also the perfect brahma there but he is completely avyakt the corporeal brahma has now has now to become subtle that is avyakt the corporeal brahma now has to become avyakt the corporeal one becomes the subtle one and then he is called an angel therefore baba says a kingdom is being established a whole rosary is being created you will go individually and take birth in the kingdom the king queen and subjects are all needed you have to understand all of this with your intellects whatever is to happen in a practical way we will see about that those who go from here that is when they die will take birth in a good wealthy family even now you will be offered a lot of hospitality there even now everyone has many things studded with jewels but they don't have that much power you have power in you wherever you go you will reveal yourself you become elevated and so when you go there you will show your divine character devilish children continue to cry from birth they are still dirty you will be sustained in a much more disciplined manner there is no question of anything dirty baba says children nowadays become very dirty such things cannot exist in the golden age after all it is heaven there is no bad odor there that you would have to ask someone to light incense sticks there will be very fragrant flowers in the garden there isn't that much fragrance in the flowers here everything there has 100% fragrance here there isn't even 1% fragrance even the flowers there will be first class no matter how wealthy someone here is 
he still isn't that wealthy there will be a variety of things there the dishes etc will all be of gold there 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 is nothing but gold whereas here they are like stone there is gold even in sand just think about how much gold there will be with which buildings etc will be built baba is telling us about satyug the weather there will be neither too hot nor too cold there there won't be any discomfort from the heat that you have to use fans its very name is heaven there is limitless happiness there no one becomes as multi million times fortunate as you people sing so much praise of lakshmi and narayan there has to be so much praise of the one who makes them become like that at first there is unadulterated devotion and then the devotion of the deities begins that would be said to be worshiping of matter for those bodies no longer exist there is worship of the five elements you would not say this for shiv baba they make idols of gold or any other material to worship a soul would not be said to be gold of what is a soul made they would instantly tell you what material and image of shiva has been made out of but no one could tell you what a soul or what the supreme soul is made of in the golden age even the five elements are pure here they are impure so effort making children would continue to have such thoughts the father says renounce all of those things too whatever is to happen that will happen first of all remember the father remove your intellects from all directions and constantly remember me alone and your sins will be absolved renounce whatever you hear and make one thing firm i have to become sato pradhan then whatever has happened in the golden age every cycle will happen there cannot be any difference in that the main thing is to remember the father this requires effort make full effort many storms will come whatever you have done for birth after birth will come in front of you so remove your intellects from all directions and make effort to remember me while being introverted so what is the main line which baba is telling us again and again today remove your intellects from all directions and make effort to remember me while being introverted you children now have awareness but that too is number wise according to the efforts you make one can tell from the service you do too those who do service have the happiness of that service the evidence of service being done is received from those who do service well they come here as guides then it is quickly known who a maharathi is who is a horse soldier and who is a foot soldier acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father pap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father today's essence for dharna has two points the first point in order to become sato pradhan remove your intellect from all directions renounce everything else and practice being bodiless also imbibe divine virtues second point take good thoughts into your intellect think about what there will be in your kingdom and make yourself worthy of that and one with a good character remove your intellect from everything here second point was take good thoughts into your intellect think about what there will be in your kingdom and make yourself worthy of that with a good character and one with a good character remove your intellect from everything here today's blessing may you be constantly full and equal and remain beyond all limited desires and receive the fruit of serving blessing once again baba says may you be constantly full and remain beyond all limited desires and receive the fruit of serving baba explains to do service means to do that which gives fruit if any service makes you discontented that service is then not service you may stop doing that service but do not let go of your contentment baba says just as those who are physically satisfied remain content in the same way those whose minds are satisfied will be content contentment is a sign of 
satisfaction a satisfied soul will not be hungry with any limited desires such as name honor any salvation or facilities such souls will remain constantly beyond any limited desires and be full and equal finally the slogan for today to move forward in doing altruistic service with an honest heart means to accumulate in your account of charity slogan once again to move forward in doing altruistic service with an honest heart means to accumulate in your account of charity acha om shanti